What's up, guys, and welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, I finally got my hands on the Lost and Founds, man. Stay tuned to the channel because we do have this shoe coming up next. I think you guys will like it. Very retro shoe. But yeah, like I was saying, I finally got my hands on the Lost and Founds, so let's jump into this video. And guys, I do know YouTube is flooded with content on the Lost and Founds, so we're just going to make a quick and easy video, um, show you some up-close details of the shoe. And as you can see, I did pick these up at Stadium Goods, so this is a legit pair. I do have another coming. I will show you a couple pointers to look at to make sure you're getting a legit shoe. But taking a look at the tag, it is Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. Colorway is Varsity Red Black Cell Muslin. And we did pick this up at a size 12. So since we're already here looking at the box, let's go ahead and get a couple of pointers to look at out of the way. And that has to deal with the tag, as you can see. Underneath this tag is a RFID chip um, under there. Let's see if I can get a closer look for you. You can kind of see those red lines in there. That is the RFID chip. So that's a quick point to look at. Also, the retails do not have like a sales tag on this. I know some of the UAs have that um, 180 sales tag on there. Retail do not. And the infamous sales sticker, um, I've seen some of the retails, um, this sticker can be here, it can be here, uh, but I have also seen a lot that's like right under this Nike swoosh, um, you have that resale tag, it's kind of aligned with this Nike swoosh, so, um, and it does feel like a real sticker that you can peel up, so, um, I know some of the UAs, they're real big sales tag versus this one so that's something to look out for again we did pick this up at stadium goods let's get into the shoe quick look at the box and lid again like i was saying it's a ton of videos i'm sure a lot of you guys have watched most of them so you know the history of this shoe so we're just gonna jump into it quick look under the lid of the box you see you have your nike swoosh and your stamping so taking a look at the retail uh retro ads paper um it does have the texture of like old newspaper um so i know ua has a very thin paper when it comes to that so keep your eyes open for that and also on the ua paper what i'm seeing that um the graphics and the details on it is a very dark print almost like too new of a print this has like a it almost has that old vintage, um, like it's been aged newspaper. So that's something to check out for. You also have your white standard paper. Very thick paper also. Quick look at the shoe. And I will say also, um, as you can see, the Sandy Bros receipt should come underneath the shoes, not on top of it. And here you have it, guys, the Air Jordan 1. Hi, OG Chicago, AKA Lost and Founds. Like I was saying, I finally got my hands on these. Finally pulled the trigger um, a couple weeks after release. Um, here we have it. Quick 360 of the shoe. We'll get into some of the details of it um, and some pointers to look out for. Um, once you get your retail pair. All right, guys. So at this point, I'm sure you all have seen tons of videos on this shoe and what it is. So uh, let's go ahead and just get into this pair. So starting from top to bottom. Um, and what I think is probably the most important point to look at um, when getting your pair and to authenticate them to make sure that, you know, they are legit. It's this um, ankle support area, the cracking on it. I will say that the cracking on each one of these retail shoes will not be the same um, because that's just the nature of, you know, the material used. But what I will say is they was pretty consistent with um, the overall crack um, design of it, especially when you see this shoe in hand. It's so finely cracked around the ankle collar area um, that it almost looks ashy in person. I mean, it has a lot of cracking in it uh, versus some of these UAs. I'm seeing that it's a lot more black and um, not as many cracks in it. And they also did a nice job matching that crack leather underneath the um, collar strap. And my next big telltale sign to look for is something I haven't heard any 
um, YouTubers say is right under this um, this strap right here, right here underneath the um, the ankle strap area. This cut is more along the lines of the high 85. It's more wide going up. Um, a lot of these UAs I'm seeing, even on the, uh, the high 85 cuts that they tried to produce, this um, this cut is a lot slimmer right here. And that's something to really look for is this um, ankle support area and right here especially. Um, it's a lot wider than your traditional um, Air Jordan 1s. And again, more along the lines of the high 85. All right, so moving down, you have your side panel cracking. See if I can get a closer look for you. I have that varsity red leather. And the thing about this leather is a smooth, almost like a matte finish leather. It's not that high gloss. The leather texture and quality of it is that type of leather that if you rub it in the same spot over and over, um, it's going to get that shiny um, texture to it. That's what this leather is. Taking a look at your Nike swoosh, it is an oversized um, swoosh. Should come up close to this um, eyelid section. Not much space between that. I have seen some UA shoes have the standard traditional Air Jordan 1 smaller Nike swoosh right here. Comes nowhere near that. So yeah, guys, I'm just giving you a quick rundown of what you can look out for. Um, also in this area, at the mug or strap, your stitching should come slightly in a U shape. Also like the high 85 cuts. Take a quick look at that toe box. Nice shape to it. Very nice shape to it. Taking a look at the medial side of the shoe. Also, what you want to look out for is, again, this strap. See the width on it? Very wide cut right there. Take a look at that side panel cracking. Also has the oversized swoosh on the medial side of the shoe. Moving down to your midsole. It is a slightly tinted off-white um, seal. It's just slightly um, more tinted than the side panels. As you can see, the side panels is more your yeah, um, true white. Moving down into the midsole, that, that's a light seal colorway. Taking a look at the outsole, as you can see, it does have that um, oxidation design that they was going for. Kind of looks dusty. And each retail pair will not be the same. Some might have slightly more of that oxidation look and um, vice versa from each shoe. No shoe will be identical. Take a quick look at the tongue. You have your OG um, Nike Air tab. Another key that you can look out for um, in a UA shoe. This Nike tab is more rolled over into the back of the tongue. Um, this is what your retail tab should look like. See the space between the Nike and the top of the tongue? Um, that's correct. A lot of the UAs, that um, Nike is much higher and it's rolled over. As you can see, you have that vintage um, sail tongue. And that comes from the yellow um, foam that's in the tongue, giving you that vintage look. Also, shoe comes laced up with your white and black pair. Quick look at the toe box cracking. Jump into the shoe. And this is how the shoes come laced up. Also, another big telltale. UA normally comes with uh, shoe trees. Um, your retail pad is going to come with tissue paper. That is a big key to look out for. This is how your shoe should come standard paper in it. Have your white insole, or some red Nike Air. 
quick look at the production date. Um, says 52422 8222. Taking a look at under the insole, you have your stitching. Um, it does come with the white tape. I have seen um, some of the UAs, I want to say, had like that orange yellow tape. But also, um, I saw some videos that was saying um, the China released Austin Founds. Some of those was coming with yellow tape. It's just the difference in the region and the warehouse that they released them in. So I'm not sure about that. But most of the U.S. releases came with the white tape. That's what I'm seeing. So real quick, we're going to take a look at the Sandy Bros receipt. Um, give you a couple signs to look out for also. The retail pair does have this green um, border around the around the paper. As you can see, the font's nice and crisp. And this is one of the points right here in the paid, um, $64.99 paid. What you want to look for, um, what I've seen and tried to discern from, you know, the fake receipts that's out there. And I haven't heard many reviewers kind of say this, but if you can look at the border around the page, this black box, it should be very defined. As you see, it has no like runoff into it. Some of you ways I've seen it kind of smears into each other. So it's something to look for. Um, also, on the back of the retail receipt, it's, it's white. Some of you ways. Um, it's just the same color as yellow. So that's one. That's another big key. It's a white on the back of the retail. But I will say stay tuned to the channel because I will have another shoe coming in that we're going to match up against this. And I can kind of break down the differences um, better in detail with the second pair um, versus this retail pair. And um, I think it might get interesting. So stay tuned to the channel for that. But let's take a quick look at my other shoe and uh, get you guys out of here. All right, so taking a look at my right shoe. Same nice quality, nice shape on the toe box. It also still has the Stadium Goods tag on it. If you want to check that out. It says, please inspect before removing this tag. All claims no and void once removed yeah man finally getting this shoe in here i'm digging it man and i also just like the the vintage look of it um especially this um true white side panel going into the sale mid so i think that's a nice look along with the the sale vintage tongue um i like that quick look at the wings logo it is um that raised wings logo I have seen some UAs that it comes out a little smaller, um, a little more glossier. This is much more uh, a matte finish. Nice feel to it. Try to give you a back shot of the heel support cracking. As you can see, the, this pair is pretty consistent between um, the left and right shoe with the cracked leather. Not sure if it's showing up on camera, but it just... it. It looks very ashy looking. Um, and I think the cracks are more like refined versus like defined. And to the touch, it has like a soft feel to it, but you can feel that. And it will flake off over time. Um, that's that's what they was going for with this, this um, vintage design and, you know, the whole meaning of the shoe. You know, how the older Jordans will flake after the time. These will also because... It has that feel to it. But yeah, again, this is one of the, if not the most telltale sign to it. A lot of UAs, it's very dark. You know, minimum crack in this one has a ton of cracking in it. So so taking a look at the outsole of the other shoe, like I was saying, um, the oxidation on the outsole does vary between shoes. No pair will be identical. Go ahead and give you a look at both shoes, as you can see more um oxidation on the right shoe versus the left and what i was seeing in some ua shoes that they just went overboard with the oxidation on both shoes 
But yeah, guys, that's what I have for you today. Quick video on this lost and found. Um, so, you know, just giving you a couple pointers to look out for if you're going to try to get this shoe in the resale market. Um, things that you can look for um, to make sure you get an authentic pair. And, um, you know, because these things, they're going up in price. So um, you want to make sure that you're getting what you paid for. And my thoughts on this shoe, um, for what I paid for it, was it worth it? Um, I would say it was. Um, I'm pleased with this pair. Came out, um, I think they came out good. I don't see um, any flaws on this shoe. I like the overall shoe from the toe box to just the materials. And this is my first Air Jordan 1 Chicago. Um, and I'm, I'm really liking this shoe. Um, so yeah, no regrets on um, what I paid for this shoe. What I would say, if you're interested in picking this up in the resale market, um, just watch it. I know right now it's close to Christmas, so I can see those prices going up because um, people want to purchase this shoe. So it might not be the best time right now to pull the trigger. And of course, we got tax season right around the corner after Christmas. So I can see these kind of still rising in price. Um, cause you know, people, you know, getting their refund back. So they have a little extra cash to spend. So you might be able to find a, a slight low, you know, in January, somewhere around there. Um, did these kind of go down a little bit? Uh, I'm not sure on that, but, um, but that's just going to be an individual decision on, you know, what you got going on. I wouldn't tell anybody to jump out the window for these, um, so I can't really just speak on it. I can just speak on the quality of the shoe and what I feel about it. Um, are these the shoe of the year for me? Stay tuned to the channel because I got something that I think might beat this shoe. And I should be working on that either today or tomorrow. Try to get that up for you. I got, um, and I also have this shoe coming up next. So again, stay tuned to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, so you don't miss out on that video. And also we have my top 10 to 15 pickups of 2022. So don't miss out on that content coming. I appreciate y'all coming through to take a quick look at the Air Jordan 1 Lost and Founds. Finally got my hands on them. Hey, till the next time. Peace.